All right, further update to the solar system for trying to heat the garage. Uh, I've had a, a lot of hiccups along the way. Uh, now we've got the drain back tank, the pump, moving the fluid through the panels, coming back through this stainless steel heat exchanger, and then the water that's in the radiant floor is being circulated with this pump. Now this system is working, but I know that it's, it's not quite enough, and when we hit the middle of winter with some of those, you know, negative 10 degree Fahrenheit nights, uh, this is not going to be enough to keep it uh, swinging through. So we need to heat it more. So we're going to add some more panels. Uh, we'll have to add another tank down here to hold more fluid capacity. All right, well, we've had a lot of trouble along the way trying to get this system to work. Let me run through some of the things that I've done wrong, and I think I'm on the right track now to fix it. Originally, I had this 10-gallon drain back tank hooked up, and it was working with just the two panels on the south wall. But I knew going in that adding the five more panels up on the roof and all the piping in between, that 10 gallons was not going to be enough. Now I had these that I picked up with the purchase of some other panels, uh, and this is a 30 year old drain back tank. Uh, and out the back there's a 3 quarter inch port. Now I tie that in over on the bottom where the pump is. Now this is the circulator pump that pushes the fluid up to the solar panels. And yet I was still getting that pump uh, draining the tanks and sucking air and then it was cavitating. So now I'm getting a little frustrated. I tried uh, putting uh, pressure on it, thinking that, okay, maybe the, the pressure on top, and that's why I had the air fitting. It still didn't work. Uh, I tried having both of the caps just wide open, didn't work. So then I added a third tank. Uh, then I had all the ports open and didn't work. I tried putting them all under pressure with the air compressor, didn't work. And each one of these steps takes several hours of uh, cutting the pipe and soldering and flux and cleaning up fittings because I'm reusing the fitting so I take the fitting off clean it. it takes a lot of time and it was still sucking air out of that pump so what do I do well I know that when I have one tank it works I got one tank in the house it works when I had this at one tank with the solar panels it worked so I'm gonna scrap all these tanks that are made for drain back systems and I'm just going to scrap them all uh, and I'm going to build my own tank to put here uh, that's large enough to handle all the volume of the water and then it'll just be one tank. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to go up to today. I'm sorry I was really hoping to do a video where I could say the system's working. It's not. Alright got those tanks out of the way. Now we're just left with the pump down there in the corner, which is right there, and the tanks. Just using a basic lunchbox planer and my table saw, I was able to make the boards uh, better for making the box. Here's the box. I made it out of old reclaimed boards that I took out of the old blue garage, and I planed them and cut them down on the table saw. Okay, I marked where the bulkhead fitting is going to go through the tank, uh, and I'm going to drill that hole out. So I got the tank full of water. The whole tank system works. It drains back properly, but it reveals another flaw in the system, which is lack of heat exchanger. So stay tuned for the next video where I'll be addressing that. If you like these, please subscribe and like. Thank you.